Hey everyone, another video for you guys. Um, gosh, I, I really thought I was done with rumors today. Uh, we have the Resident Evil event later today. I'm, I'm still not sure if I'm live streaming it, but you know, if there's big news there, uh, which will obviously get like a new trailer for Resident Evil Village. Uh, it's something that I plan to talk about later today, but a person had to tweet out something today that made me get my, my, my ears perk up a little bit. We have covered this person one other time on this channel uh and it, it, it's because the <laughs> the account this comes from is an account that is i, I don't want to say controversial but let's just say not family friendly uh don't worry there's nothing not safe for work in this video uh but it, it, it's just uh it, it's one of those situations where we haven't talked about them since because of that plus they haven't had a lot of of stuff to say uh in terms of like leaking things from nintendo however Last time we did talk about them was about a Nintendo Direct, and they were right. You know, we, we don't make follow-up videos when sources are right. We don't go, hey, that leaker was right. Let's give them Like, whatever. They were right. Cool. We move on with our day. Uh, but it is then someone that I pay more attention to in the future. And we are talking about uh, this uh, Twitter account called at HotGirlVideos69. Yes. That's literally the Twitter account. It's not a joke. Uh, they do support the adult film industry. I believe uh, there's people related to the adult film industry uh, that this person knows or is part of the industry. I, I don't know. I don't really dive too deep into their Twitter uh, beyond some of these leaks and rumors. Most of their followers are from their leaks and rumors over the years, over the last year, really. So I'm not really sure how they get their information. They're never really clear on it. I just know they were right before, so we're going to talk about them again. And that, of course, is a Nintendo Direct not like a full direct though, like a Nintendo Direct Mini, or um, a partner direct, a combo direct, basically, um, where it's going to have a lot of third-party games, but also Nintendo stuff. So I, I guess probably more apt to call it a Nintendo Direct Mini. Um, it's happening soon, uh, and when he says soon, he's before May nineteenth. So basically, sometime in the next month, because what what is today? I, I don't know. Today's the fifteenth. So sometime in the next month. Uh, there, there's a supposedly a partner direct such so Nintendo Direct Mini coming. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at at the exact words here. So uh, as you see here, here's the account um, <laughs> Dove Gray at Hot Girl Gate. It says Nintendo Partner Direct slash Nintendo Direct Mini coming soon. Hashtag Nintendo Nintendo Direct, Nintendo Switch. And they said to be clear, this will happen at least once between today. So so like basically today and June 9th. Um, we are told there will be a drop of a first party game prior to June 10th. So there's going to be a new first party game announced uh, before E3. So uh, when it says June 10th, it's because when you get to June 12th, you're, you're, you're you know, you th th there's got to be a run up to E3. So there's going to be announcements at E3, but this is like an outside of E3 announcement. And it says to us, because this is a group of people, uh, this most likely means the date for this would be before 519. That's why I said sometime in the next month, even though their sources are saying before June 9th, logically because you need to run up to e3 you have a hype train all that jazz uh, and you don't normally have like a direct happen and then a couple days later have another direct happen that's not really how it goes on uh, nintendo teams needs time to build up for e3 2021 however who effing knows possibly for 28 for something not clear so they're basically saying hey look the soonest to expect is maybe 428 um what is 428 on the calendar let me let me just glance up at, at the, what is that that's a wednesday now, Nintendo does not stick to traditional dates anymore, uh, like, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, like they once did for Direct. So really, any day during the week um, could be possible. I, I think this is uh, rather interesting to think about because I talked about this uh, during the Nintendo Direct Indie Showcase when people were saying, hey, Nate, you know, is there, does this mean there's not going to be a Direct before E3? And I was like, yeah, of course there's not going to be. I think the only thing there could have been was a Partner Showcase. I, I felt like a Partner Showcase could still make sense for Nintendo uh, because if they have so many big games to talk about themselves, they might want to spend E3 focusing on their own internal studios and their own partner studios and have less third-party games at that event, but more of a focus on their own games. Uh, and I, what's interesting here is... Um, a partner direct in that case would, would, would contain all the third-party games, which is what we've seen before. But when you see him say it's a partner direct such Nintendo Direct Mini and that there is going to be a first-party announcement, it really lends it more to a Nintendo Direct Mini, which usually has a combination of Nintendo games. It, 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 Nintendo Direct Minis are basically Nintendo Directs. They're just shorter, um, 
and and, and the content's more packed into a, a, a smaller window, like a 15 minute, a 10 minute, you know, window. Uh, and there's usually like one game to care about. And some people argue normal Nintendo directs only have one big game to care about too, but that's neither here nor there. What that big game could be, I have no idea. I mean, are they going to talk about Breath of the Wild too? I, I I don't think so. Like they said, you know, it's going to be a drop of a first party game. I that, that to me doesn't feel like Breath of the Wild too. That feels something new that we are not currently aware of. So that's kind of the big thing uh, right now. Now today we have the Resident Evil showcase. Uh, there has been a rumored leaked uh, Resident Evil Revelations three, but it's not going to be called Revelations three. It has a different name uh, coming to Switch. That's going to be considered a mainline Resident Evil game uh, that has a, a very similar budget to Resident Evil Village, which means this is a big like they're really heavily invested in this, which is really cool to see uh, because. Capcom, you know, dedicating to Switch would be great. Uh, what's also really hard to think about, though, is what if they don't reveal that today? Like, it's supposedly coming this year, but if they have this Resident Evil event today and they don't unveil it there, why? What well, could it be because it would be unveiled during the Nintendo Direct Mini? I'm just throwing that out there. That's not Nintendo first party. That wouldn't be their big game, but that could be a big third party unveiling, right? Uh, remember, we got Dark Souls uh, was revealed for Switch through a Nintendo Direct Mini as well, so... You never really know, right? We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, plus, there's all those rumors out there that more Dark Souls stuff is coming. Remember the Bandai Namco room rumors? You know, uh, uh, what is it? Dragon Ball uh, Kakarok as well? So, like, hey, there's there's rumors floating out there on third-party games, um, and we still haven't heard them announced for Switch, so maybe this is how they do it, and then they have their bigger, bigger games, you know, their Zelda games, their, their whatever they're focusing on at E3, at E3. So, again, I personally didn't think this was possible, I thought a partner showcase at best before E3, and it would happen before the end of this month or very early in um, May. But, hey, they're saying Nintendo has a big game to reveal. It's basically a Nintendo Direct Mini. That's interesting. I talked about how there's a lot of stuff I think Nintendo has to announce. I, I think they have a lot of things in their pipeline that they're practically ready to talk about. Maybe it's almost too much to pack it into just a single E3. Maybe they feel like they need to spread it out because they have too much. Like, think about it. We got, you know, Nintendo's going to be at E3, but we got Splatoon 3 announced for next year. So think about that. Like, that was a pretty major game announcement. They could have dropped at E3. They dropped it now. So what the hell else do they have to talk about? A lot. So maybe it's just Nintendo has so much to talk about, they're going to start dropping, like, big announcements throughout the year, but also obviously have, like, a couple big announcements at E3 along with looks at games that we've heard about before like breath of the wild or something so anyways you guys let me know uh what you think about this down in the comments below let me know um what you think about this really strange source you know hot girl video 69 very strange source but they have been correct in the past when i reported on them so that created a track record now we'll see what happens. Again, they're, they think it's going to be sometime before 519, potentially on 428. However, their source is saying, you know, before June 9th. So anytime in there could be this partner showcase. It's funny that they're not calling it directly a showcase or directly a direct mini. They aren't sure, but there's a Nintendo game involved. That that speaks mini to me. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.